Hi guys, welcome to mitosis and the cell cycle. So in terms of the specification, uh, you need to be able to recognize the stages of the cell cycle like interface and then uh, stages of the division, which are prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase, including cytokinesis if we're talking about uh, mitosis here. You also need to uh, uh, explain the appearance of cells in each stage of mitosis. And what's really important here when you're talking about stages of mitosis, it's the fact that you need to focus on the chromosomes. So for a level, we're not really bothered about the um, nuclear envelope and stuff like that. What we need to remember is the behavior of the chromosomes. Uh, so let's get started. So this is the cell cycle and it lasts 24 hours in mammalian cell. So uh, this occupies uh, the most of the cell cycle if we're talking about the interface. So interface is around 90% of the cell cycle because between this stage, the cell is getting ready for the division. The DNA replicates and uh, the process of checking if the cell is ready for replication, it's taking place here. Next, we've got nuclear division. So this is the process where the nucleus will divide. And here we could have two processes, could be mitosis, when we will finish with two genetically identical cells, or meiosis, which will produce four genetically different daughter cells. And finally, cytokinesis, which is the uh, process after the nuclear division, which leads to division of the cytoplasm. So um, nuclear organisms, multinuclear or organisms, not, uh, in those, not all cells will retain the ability to divide. For eukaryotic cells that do retain the ability to divide show a cell cycle, okay? So mitosis is obviously important because uh, it will allow the growth, but don't say the growth of the cell because the one single cell is not growing, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It grow in the number in cells, okay? So increase in cell number uh, leads to replacement of cells, repair tissue, organs of body. Genetically identical daughter cells are produced and it's an asexual reproduction, so it's uh, quite faster than sexual reproduction. So mitosis is a controlled process and if in any point we will uh, deal with the uncontrolled cell division, that will lead to the formation of tumor and cancers. So in section eight, you will learn more about the cancer. So have a look at the videos in section eight if you are interested now. So many cancer treatments are directed at controlling the rate of cell division. Because if we're looking at the tumor suppressor genes and proto-oncogenes, if they are mutated, they don't control properly the rate of cell division. So in terms of the mitosis, as we've mentioned, two daughter cells are produced, which uh, have the same number of the chromosomes as the parent cell. So uh, in terms of the mitosis, we've got four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Remember, interphase, it's not a stage of mitosis. It's a part of the cell cycle. So uh, how the chromosome looks like, because normally they're asking you about the appearance of the chromosome as well. So chromosome, two sister chromatids joined by centromere. So that's how you will describe the appearance of the chromosome. So uh, chromatin then, it's another te term that could come. So as you can see here, this is your DNA, double-stranded DNA. This DNA then will be wrapped around the proteins, which we call histones. So the DNA and histones complex, it's called chromatin, which makes more condensed form of DNA and the most condensed form of the DNA in the cell is a chromosome, right? So uh, we also got two different types of the cells. So haploid, uh, recognized as letter N, or diploid 2N. What does that mean? In haploid cell, we've got one chromosome from each pair. In diploid cell, we've got 
the two sets of the chromosomes in each of the pairs. So this is the process of um, cell cycle, including interphase. And here we've got mitosis, so prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So as we've mentioned before, for your actual specification, we are not really interested about the nuclear envelope. So we need to focus on the chromosomes. So in prophase, chromosomes coil become condensed and they appear as two sister chromatids joined at centromere. In metaphase, then chromosomes line up uh, at the center of the cell and they are attached to the spindle fibers by the centromere. In the anaphase, then the centromere will split and the sister chromatids will be pulled to the opposite poles of the cell. And finally, in the telophase, chromatids called chromosomes now uncoil, unwind, and become longer, thinner. So that's those green boxes. This is your specific terminology that you need to apply on your exam. So importance of mitosis, we've mentioned a few already, but mainly growth, increase in the number of cells, repair of tissues, and asexual reproduction. So uh, the events that take place in, in enter uh, interface and mitosis lead to the production of two genetically identical cells and explain how DNA is replicated. This is taking place during interface involving specific complementary base pairs. So when the guanine uh, binds with cytosine by three hydrogen bonds and adenine with thymine by two hydrogen bonds. Uh, we need to refer to the uh, two sister chromatids because this is how the uh, chromosome appears. Two sister chromatids joined by centromere and each of those chromatids will move and separate to the opposite uh, poles ends of cell. So quick past paper question here we've got the stages of the mitosis and we need to order them starting with D. Okay, so this is D. Obviously the chromosomes are not visible, so that is the uh, interface. Sorry, so the stages of cell cycle, not mitosis, my mistake. Okay, so D is the interface, and now we're looking for the rest of those. So the order follows as C, where we've got prophase visible chromosomes, then we've got B metaphase when they line up in the uh, center of the cell joined by spindle fibers then we're looking at e when the sister chromatids uh, separate in anaphase and finally telophase a right so here we've got a question to suggest why the development of monopolar mitotic spindle fiber would prevent successful mitosis okay so this is how the normal cell uh, will look like and this is when the chromosomes are attached to the monopolar mono single so you don't go from each of the poles this part here is missing so obviously what stages are not going to take place anaphase it's not going to be successful so the sister chromatids won't be pulled apart to the opposite poles so in the one of the cells we will end with double number of the uh, chromosomes and the other uh, cell will get none okay another skill it's working out the mitotic index so the number of cells uh, the visible chromosomes so what does that mean the all the cells in prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase divided by the total number of observed cells so including those in the uh, interface and uh, mitosis as well right so what we've mentioned the mitosis is a control process but uncontrolled cell division will lead to cancer so one more time we'll recap on this finally we've got here the cell division and prokaryotic cells so in prokaryotic cells we're talking about the binary fission so the dna uh, and plasmids because it's a single loop of dna which we can see here they will replicate okay they uh, they will then uh, de separate to the opposite poles and divide so the cytokinesis will take place and produce two daughter cells
And we also have got a division of the viruses for AQA specification. But if you look through the 